Is there this feeling, though, that, like the fan base is desperate for them to get starting pitching? How many more pitchers do they need to pass on? They didn't give the extra year to Corbin. Didn't weren't didn't give 1.8 million to to get uh, Dallas Keuchel. That gap. Uh, yeah. They just let Stroman go to the Mets. Uh, is it possible because they refuse to pay anything extra that we're going to get past the deadline and they would not improve the starting pitching? Yes, it's very possible. I think if the right deal is not there for them, they're not going to press anything because that is, you know, the beauty of what the Yankees do, Don, is that they don't deviate from their plan. Now, when you don't deviate from your plan and from your organizational philosophy, over the long haul, that is absolutely the right thing to do. If it, let's just think about it. If you are making optimal decisions at all times, in the end, you are going to wind up in the positive. Now, the problem with that philosophy is that sometimes making a quote-unquote bad decision actually will behoove you in the short term. It's just a risk management game, right? And in the longer, it's almost like playing blackjack. You know, the, the people who play blackjack at the casino, you have a process. And if you follow that process, you have better odds doing that than anywhere else in the casino. The Yankees are following the process right now. And there, there is a really good argument to be made that when you have the chance to win a World Series, you short-circuit your process and, and you change things up. But you can always give yourself an excuse to short-circuit the process. You can always give yourself rationale. Well, you know, we're this close. Well, why don't we just go for it? And, and I think there are really good arguments on both sides. Because what if, like, hypothetically, what if the Yankees do go out and acquire a starting pitcher and he stinks? Were they wrong? Or because they went for it, does the process itself make them right like that's a question i don't know the answer to and and it's a difficult question to answer yeah it's it's tough and listen uh, you're hearing some rumors about mad bum to houston so i don't know maybe the giants are reconsidering the the mets will never trade with the yankees so i guess noah syndergaard is off the table but of the robbie rays and the roarks and and the miners are any of these guys guaranteed to be better than domingo herman in game I... four that's just what I was going to say. Do you really think that Tanner Roark is better than the options there right now? No. I don't. And also, even if you got Mad Bum, if Tanaka mm -hmm. and Hap and Herman and CeCe and Paxton are going to continue to be awful, you're still going to lose. I, I think, you know, when Aaron Boone said there are a lot of different ways to skin a cat, I think what he was, you know, reading between the lines here... He was saying, we can go out and get some relievers, and we can bullpen the sucker. And, look, I know the Cleveland Indians two years ago had Corey Kluber at the front of the rotation. That is a pitcher who the, the Yankees don't have anything close to at this point. But it was Corey Kluber and a bunch of relief pitchers. And in 2019, guys, with the number of off days that there are in the playoffs, you have one after game two, you have one after game five, and then you have however many there are in between the series. With all those days off, if your bullpen is that deep and that good, you can bullpen your way through the playoffs if you have an offense like the Yankees do. And, and I know that's a very weird thing to come to terms with and to hear. And it's especially weird when placed in contrast with the Houston Astros, who have Garrett Cole and who have Justin Verlander and who are going to ride starting pitching as far as they will take them. But Aaron Boone's not wrong. Yeah. You can do that in baseball these days, and I think we're just waiting for the first team that we see to bullpen themselves to a World Series because it has not happened yet. It's going to.